For a long time, Camden was one of the most dangerous cities in America. The city in many neighborhoods faced epidemics of crime. The police force was crippled by bloated union contracts, by low morale, and an absentee rate reaching 30% on a typical day. For some crimes, the force had basically given up responding. Well, leaving Camden in that lurch wasn't an option for me. Not responding as governor wasn't an option. And restoring hope to this city has been one of my top priorities as governor. And that's why we've invested so much in improving education here and why we're going to continue working to make things better with the mayor and the council and the community leaders in this city working with us. But to get the situation on the streets under control, we had to take unprecedented and decisive action. So working in coalition with the county and community leaders, we came up with a plan to fundamentally restructure Camden's police force. We shut down the city police force and we partnered with Camden County to regionalize it. So now instead of a struggling force that only had about 240 officers, we put a new metro division on the streets with 400 officers for the same price because we got rid of expensive work rules and we worked within that budget. But restructuring the force was just the start. We, we also changed the culture and rethought the entire strategy for engaging with the community. We got more police officers walking the beat instead of sitting behind desks doing paperwork. Because of that, we cut the average police response time from more than 60 minutes to less than five. Think about that. We got officers focused on community outreach, building relationships with community leaders and dialogue with the residents they were working with. Our new force did meet and greet events at parks and at churches and at baseball games. They knocked on doors and they talked to people one-on-one. -on -one. And by continuing to work to build up that trust and visibility, we got more people likely to report crime and to become voices for peace and calm themselves in their neighborhoods. Now listen, after what we saw in Ferguson, I'm convinced this is absolutely something we have to be encouraging states to invest in in the 49 other states in this country. For, for communities that are dealing with a legacy of government neglect, a helping hand is always better than an armored fist. And the best way to keep the peace is to build the peace. So we bring in cutting edge technology, we upped our game with the way officers respond to crime. In Camden's real-time crime center, we have civilian analysts working side by side with officers to stay alert 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That team is monitoring more than 120 surveillance cameras across the city and 35 microphones that can instantly map the location of a gunshot in this city. If shots are fired or if there's a 911 call on violence, we have units already on the way. So these are some of the big changes we made to make community policing work in Camden. And of course, we're not taking a victory lap. There's a lot more to do here. No one thinks our job is anywhere near done, including me. But I will tell you this, through all of us working together, we've done something pretty incredible. We've started to reclaim the streets of Camden for the good, hard-working citizens of Camden. We've started to put life back into the community again. Since we brought in these reforms, we've seen a 22% drop in overall violent crime and a 51% reduction in homicides in this city. We've reduced incidents of rape by 30%. We've cut robberies by 30% also. We've cut aggravated assaults by 15%. And you know, we've also seen an improvement in Newark and Trenton as well by starting to move down this road. We've deployed state troopers there to deal with the violent crime. And in the first six months of this year, non-fatal shootings were down 45% in Trenton. And fatal shootings were down 58% in the state capital. And in Newark, the number of murders were down 17% last year compared to the year before. It allows our kids to play in the parks again. It allows our businesses to stay open with a sense of safety and security. And if you need help, you can count on that help arriving in a timely fashion. These are results that no one predicted and that many said were impossible. 
but we did it because of all the support and partnership from this community. With continued effort, there's no reason we can't continue to make even more progress. So here's what I think. If we can make this work in Camden, I believe we can make this work anywhere in the United States of America.